Warning, this show contains graphic images and content. Viewer discretion is advised. To episode five, Cinco de Horror, <laughs> <laughs> uh, the only genre. I am Sean Vidmar. I am Danny Meckler. Oh my God, he I was said, unprepared. You had nothing I today. Had nothing. <laughs> I'm actually fairly upset with you. Start Do it again. Do Say it again. something else. I'm Sean Vidmar. I'm a microphone. <laughs> okay. <laughs> At least it's something. Talking to me. <laughs> And this is actually their first week. It's finally October. It is. And thank God. It already smells like fall, which is fantastic. Oh, I absolutely love October. But um, because it's October and Halloween is now actually a month away, <laughs> unlike the last time we talked about it, um, we're doing, less than a month. We're, we're doing an actual top five. Each episode, we do an episode in October. For each one of those episodes, <laughs> get to the point. We're gonna do a top five of something. Top five of. I can't do it either. Top yeah, five see, of a new topic for each episode. Yes. See that is actually big, and I have notes right in front of me, and I didn't read anything because I wanted to like look into the camera. But we're I'm an idiot. idiot. We're trying. I'm trust us. I'm a fucking moron. Anyway, and I'm Danny Meckler. <laughs> <laughs> the human anatomy is strange, fascinating, and, well, grotesque. The U.S. National Library of Medicine, they actually have something called Dream Anatomy. This actually is a collection of grotesque anatomy pictures from the 16th century all the way to today. These pictures are very disturbing, grotesque, morbid, and also very beautiful and fascinating. It's basically just very strange art. Anatomy! It's funny how uh, science and art kind of go together. Because mm -hmm. you have like the, well, this anatomy stuff. It's, it's actually really cool. I showed you some pictures right when you came mm -hmm. over. And it's very interesting. I actually was on a horror magazine website. And they had an article about this. This is how I found it. And it's amazing how like science and art go hand in hand because you have like this. Those are really detailed, well drawn drawings. They're all uh, pencil or art. <laughs> They're all pencil or pen or something. <laughs> That's how art works. <laughs> oh wow! Uh, <laughs> and uh, our next week episode, Danny Meckler will be fired. Yeah. And no. Uh, <laughs> I'll no, because you have like, because like the steampunk has that very like, uh, the way they do steampunk, mm -hmm. it, it has that like the science, style. fiction mm -hmm. type, you know, whatever style to it. So I don't know what it is like. The whatever if you, style. If you, yeah. that's a good one. <laughs> if you really like look this stuff up and just, uh, I love how it's actually it has like information about the person that actually drew it too, mm -hmm. and uh, you know who they are, uh, what they used to do, you know, so on and so forth. It, so it's got like a nice, basically if you just want to look at like grotesque pictures that for whatever reason you're just like, wow, that, there's something beautiful and I, haunting about this. I got really into this, this type of anatomy and artwork from a band called The Receiving and the Sirens. Check them out, they're amazing. Um, one of their, their like main debut CD was called Between the Heart and the Synapse, mm -hmm. and it had a whole bunch of different anatomical drawings like that, which they mixed in like William Shakespeare drawings too. It was really, really weird. But that, that band is so cool that they sound current, even though that, that CD came out almost 10 years ago. Anyways, but th that's how I got into that style, and I just think it's phenomenal. There's so much detail and so much little minute um, lines and everything. It, it's so cool. Now, with, well, with this... Um, uh, this website and stuff that they they show one thing that of course you 
uh, one picture that you saw, and you're just like, um, is he holding his skin? Yeah. And a dagger? Yeah. That one's really interesting. Because it looks like a cloak. Yeah, because like, he, he's, he's wearing an old ghost yeah. costume. Yeah, he's just like holding it, and he's just like, hey, look at me. My penis is skinless now. And they all have like the, the Michelangelo's David kind of pose. Oh, yeah. Where they're all just like, well, yeah, that's, you know, holding my skin. skin. And they're all kind of, of course, like the a little bit of like overweight, and I don't remember like we didn't really see anything Very muscular. that was that was actual like women. Because anytime I think of well, Michelangelo, I think of like these kind of hefty women. Yeah, <laughs> but I didn't see that. There was a couple like children skeleton. Children, yeah. <laughs> those could be women, but maybe maybe they're plump dwarves. <laughs> Either way, the whole website is actually interesting. Bizarre, grotesque, and informative. Amazing. It, like, it's a it's a nice little history lesson it's at really the cool. same time. So you should definitely check that one out. Okay, that's next. On October sixth, the Treehouse of Horror episode of The Simpsons will air once again. This is going to be Treehouse of Horror number twenty four, with the opening title sequence written and directed by Guillermo del Toro. We all know Guillermo del Toro from Hellboy, Pan's Labyrinth, and Pacific Rim. Even if you think The uh, Simpsons is slipping, which it has, everyone still tunes in for the Treehouse of Horror episodes since they're fantastic. I'm actually, I haven't really kept up with The Simpsons in a, in a long time. No one has. And, but uh, like you actually said earlier, the Tree of Horror, I've actually, when it's on and if, you know, if I'm near it, near a television and stuff, I don't really have cable, but yeah, you can't I'll actually watch it. You can't not watch it if it's on. It's always awesome. Like even the stories aren't even all that great; they're they're pretty small and condensed. But they, they just pack so much humor into those little short segments, and <laughs> it's awesome. <laughs> one, they're so stupid. And I, I believe it was. Oh, never mind. It was not the Simpsons. There was one about a, a, a haunted toupee. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. Who and else the, does that? The, the monkey paw thing. The monkey, the monkey claw. claw, whatever. Yeah. That one is interesting. But this is is fun because. Um, well, one thing that we were talking about, uh, Gilmore, was the fact... Guillermo? What did I say? Gilmore. Like, the Gilmore girls? Is that what I said? You said Gilmore. Oh, my You bad. said it last time, too. Did I? Yes. My God. We were... I, pro I probably butcher his name once in a while. Guillermo. But he's actually, like, um, I did not really know this, or if I actually knew... You got a fuss on The fuss just flew right in front of my face. <laughs> but, um, he was a special effects makeup artist, mm -hmm. and... A lot of the stuff that he's actually done, I mean, he of course, draw drew it up first, and then he he is uh, his mind is like kind of creepy and like oh, it's awesome. awesome at the same time, and just the fact that he did like the the intro to The Simpsons, yeah. So I'm actually which has a whole bunch of different uh, influences from other horror. There's got Alfred Hitchcock, they've got zombies, they've got everything that you can possibly think of uh, in this two minute and forty five second intro for the couch gag that. Everyone does. Yeah, and it's like it, it's just amazing to me that he basically designed kind of a new <laughs> world yeah. in a sense. But it's like it's still Springfield and it's still The Simpsons, but it's like what with his mind messed up. This nice little spin. Yeah, which is amazing. I love it. And this I actually, Lisa gets sucked into the couch and then falls into like this Alice in Wonderland kind of area too. Which, oh, for real? That, I, I never ended up a little bit on this. Oh, that's all. See, like everything it is, but. Uh, this actually goes into what we spoke about in the beginning of the show, our top five. And our top five this week is actually the top five... Treehouse of Horror episodes. Um, Not episodes, segments. Sorry. Yeah, in, in our minds. Yes. 